What is up, this guy the family? What is up, this guy the family? Welcome back to another episode of this guy with Mendy. And in this episode, magbibigay ako ng 14 business ideas that you can start with a small capital. Actually, iba sa kanila kaya mo umpisahan na walang gastos. Yung iba sa kanila nasa 30 to 40 thousand yung capital. Actually, hindi ako sigurado kung 14 lang talaga yung business ideas na ibibigay ko kasi merong running theme. Okay, merong running theme throughout all the ideas that I'm about to give you and that theme is ang pagbabalik ng empleyado sa office. Pambabalik ng pagtatrabaho sa loob ng office, sa loob ng physical office. So yun yung tema ko because evidently, paunti-unti na tayong bumabalik lahat sa office para magtrabaho physically. Medyo malungkot, pero this presents really good business opportunities for people that want to get into business. So merong tema, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun na hindi mo na magagawa ito kung work from home pa rin yung mga tao or work from home pa rin yung market mo. Pero teka, bago kayo bigay this card, kung mahilig ka manood ng videos on personal growth, entrepreneurship, business, side hustles, and discarte in life in general. Pindutin mo na yung subscribe button na yan because this is the type of videos that I make on this channel. And with that, so, pabalik na ng office, isipin natin kung anong mga kailangan ng mga tao sa office. Number one, pagkain. Specifically, ang weekly or monthly food subscriptions. This can be breakfast, lunch, dinner. This is something that my sister and I actually used to do sa lahat yata ng office na pinasukan ko, nagbebenta kami ng lunch. It can be healthy food or it can be ordinary food, but the point is, subscribe plan siya. The way I did it is naka-set out na each day may specific dish that they can choose and then isa-send ko yun the week prior tapos bibigyan ko sila ng chance to order throughout the week. If they want to miss a couple of days, fine. But trust me when I say that there are a lot of people now na ayaw nang mahasil bumili sa labas, ayaw na mag-isip kung anong kakainin nila. At dahil pre-ordered siya, pwede kang mamalengke ng saktong-sakto lang na ingredients sa kailangan para ma-deliver mo yung mga pagkain. On top of that though, there are really just two factors that you have to make sure. Number one, masarap yung pagkain mo at marami. Bahala ka na dumiskalte kung paano mo gagawin yun. At number two, tama lang ang presyo. So, do your market study. Magkano ba Jolly Jeep ngayon? Kung pagkano yung mga binibili nila around that area? What are the opportunities for them to buy elsewhere? But I really think that now more than ever, a food subscription business would work because of our current situation. It can also be snacks. Kung ayaw mo ng breakfast, lunch, dinner, it can be snacks. I know for a fact ako, sobrang guilty ako. Mahilig talaga ako mag-snack nang nasa corporate ako. Nag-burger ako parati akong kumakain. Although I'm not sure kung pwede sila mag-snacks. Guys, comment down below kung pwede na mag-snacks kung nag-work kayo sa office. But it it's gonna be a snack subscription model where you know, by the imported snacks, Japanese snacks on Monday, you know, Turkish snacks on Wednesday, Korean snacks on Friday, and weekly to wala na silang iisipin. They're gonna get a treat in the box, surprises in the box. Guys, aralin niyo yung subscription based model. Right now, dito sa Exena natin sa Pilipinas, kahit hindi sa office, feeling ko madaming taong tinatamad magduto on a daily. Order na lang sila kung saan. At ikaw ang kikita sa order na yun. Now, isisingit natin yung papunta ka pa lang ng office, isip mo, oh! Uh -huh. Pet lover pala ako. Meron pala akong alagang aso. Mga alagang aso. Mga alagang pusa. Mga alagang... Goldfish. Actually guys, itong idea na ito nakakota sa isang friend. Yung mama niya hindi makapunta dito dahil seven yung aso sa Japan. Eh ang mahal daw ng dog hotel doon. So naisip ko, Teka, mukhang patok to dito sa Pinas ha. Halos walang puhunan to guys. So kung pet lover ka, marunong ka mag-handle ng pets. Kung dog whisperer ka, para kang si Caesar. Plus, meron kang spare area sa bahay mo or wherever you live in, you can actually do this. I think it's easy to set up. Lagay ka lang ng CCTV na pwedeng i-access publicly ng mga owners. Although ideally, siguro dapat hindi na kulong yung mga pets. So, kung papasok ka dito, baka kung dogs ka, dogs ka lang. Kung cats ka, cats ka lang. Let them roam free. That would be ideal, I think. And lessen the pet stress. So, although I'm not sure kung nasa-stress sa mga goldfish. At dahil meron ka ng pet hotel, pwede ka rin mag-pet photography. Ang dami ngayon online na nagpa-fancy pet photography. Ang ganda, guys. Check nyo to. Siyempre, kailangan may equipment ka na for it. Actually, hindi to tepid. Mahal yung camera equipment to be able to do this. But just an idea na naisip ko ngayon, baka meron ka na equipment. Pet photography. And last, under pets, this is something that I actually really deep dove on. Naadig ako kaka-research about this is pet necklaces or even pet owner necklaces. And again, nakita ko na naman to sa ibang bansa which I really think could apply here. Feeling ko madaming bibili nito. Because why not? Mga pet owners, meron silang necklace na stainless steel of their pet. And the reason kung ba't sinabi ko nag-deep type ako is akala ko nung una mahal yung equipment to be able to do this kasi mahal yung mga laser engraving machines specifically the ones that can do that on stainless steel. But I actually found some really decently priced alternatives. Merong machine na tinatawag na cry cut 
and that price cut can actually do that plus many more and that would go for anywhere between 18 to 30,000 pesos. Pero guys, if you think price point nyo per piece for that necklace would be anywhere between 300 to 500 pesos and you market it right, guys, there's, there's a good opportunity there. Moving to number two, same subscription model siya, but this time it is for clothing. A subscription box for men. It is for a fact na madaming lalaking tinatamad bumili ng sarili ng damit or hindi marunong mag-style. Me included. Actually, sobrang wish ko na may ganito nung panahon ko kasi sobrang lala talaga ng mga suit ko ito tinan nyo. Sa business na to, syempre kailangan marunong ka mag-style. Kasi yun yung product mo, yun yung solution na i-offer mo sa problema nila dahil hindi sila marunong bumili or tinatamad sila is the ease of getting clothes to wear at the office. And number two is the style. And so, ang mangyayari nun is mag-send ka ng questionnaire sa mga gustong umorder. Sa questionnaire na yun, ilalagay nila yung sukat nila or maglalagay ka ng sukat na ng small, medium, and large and then you ask for the style that they want better yet, kung kaya nila mag-provide ng photo sa mga gusto nilang style na gayahin that will be better pero kung meron kang time for it then you can just style them yourself pasend ka ng photo sa kanila but anyway, once you have that style ikaw na bahala kung ano yung papadala mo sa kanilang set ideally, para sa akin ha kung ano yung magugustuhan ko if I were to buy yung set would be a polo and then a necktie and then socks yung tatlo na yun, okay na ako discard mo na lang kung magdala dagdag ka ng pants, ng belt, other accessories, cufflinks, other accessories na tingin mo may enjoy ng guys. But the goal is to give them something that they are satisfied and comfortable with. Also for me, maganda sana kung local din yung mga suppliers sa mga polos, mga damit mo, mga accessories mo. And then you work from there. Again, may mga technicalities tong business na to. If they don't like what you sent, would the returns be free? And there is a model like this that exists already in other countries. So, discartihan nyo na, aralin nyo. Because I really think this can work here locally. So, meron na tayong pagkain, meron tayong damit. Susunod is office desk accessories. Guys, natagal ko ng corporate and I know for a fact, I know a lot of people na mahilig sa mga ganito, mga desk accessories, kung ano-anong abubot sa desk nila. I think yung discarte ngayon though is custom desk accessories or custom or art desk accessories or playable art desk accessories. Anything dainty or anything aesthetic like custom pen holders, art piece pen holders. Meron ako nakita minimalist tissue box. How can that, how can that be even more minimalist? But that product exists and it's being bought by people. Another product that I really like was a foot hammock, guys. Ako ako, bibili ako nito personally. I actually really think that can sell. Another product that I saw was custom seat cushions. Alam ko, sobrang dami na mahilig sa seat cushions kasi nga hindi masyadong komportable mga office seats. A majority of the time, not saying all, but custom or locally made or premium or even back or posture improving seat cushions. And here's one that I really like and that is computer glasses. It is for a fact that there are people that wear glasses just for fashion, kahit wala silang grado. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is also for a fact na alam ko madaming gustong itry magkaroon ng salamin. They like how they look in them, they feel comfortable kung may salamin sila. Or gusto nila ng salamin pero wala silang chance magsuot ng salamin kasi nga wala silang grado. This is where your business comes in. It serves two core purposes. And number one, yung magaan na purpose is making people more fashionable at the office. And number two, the most important one is protecting their eyes from the glare of the monitor. Guys, I really think this business is a good business. Business. There are lots of suppliers that you can get on Alibaba or if you want to get them custom made. I'm, I really think this, I'm very positive on this business. I might even do this myself. I don't know. So, meron na tayong damit. Papunta ng office. Meron na tayong pagkain pagdating sa office. Meron na tayong office desk accessories pang tanggal ng stress dahil galit yung boss mo. Uuwi na tayo niyan. Excited na tayong mag-relax sa bahay. And this is where health and wellness or even just home wellness comes into play. Under this, I have ideas under three categories. Categories. The first one is skincare. This is basic. I think I think if you want to get into skincare, guys, you better be ready with your marketing top game dahil ang dami nang nagsiskincare ngayon. Actually, in general, wellness, sobrang dami na ngayon, but skincare the most. Also, I think if you're gonna get into skincare, you, you really have to ride the vegan, the organic, the locally made soaps, organic moisturizers, organic face masks, organic pimple removers. Um, but be beyond that, there are also accessories like, you know, face lifting tools that, that were trending for a while. Face scrubs, face massagers. You get my point. Sobrang dami nang nagdenegosyo ng ganito. Number two is body care. I think there's a lot more space in body care. There's a lot of more things that you can do that I don't see in the market right now. And again, organic. Organic body butter, organic lotions, organic oils. As you come to think of it, you can customize everything that I just said and you, you've got a business. Last but not the least under wellness is mind care. This is my favorite because
because I th really think this has the most space versus the other two. Mostly it's gonna be relaxation accessories like diffusers, humidifiers, and, and candles. I know there are a lot of people doing these businesses already, but you've still got, you know, mini zen fountains, mini zen gardens, um, puzzles, anything that can relax the mind. And again, you can customize all of those because I really think customization is the game right now. But here's one that I really like, which won't even cost you a single peso, and that is sleep top down music. Sobrang daming views ngayon ng mga ganitong types of videos dito sa YouTube. And all they do is either read a book, read an article, write their own thing about, you know, whatever they want to talk about, and they have background music plus their relaxing voice, and then you've got a sleep talk down channel. And that's it for this episode, guys. Once again, don't forget to click the subscribe button, maybe follow me on Instagram. Also, meron ako nakalimutang i-announce yung nanalo ng gaming chair. This is something that I'll announce on my Instagram again. Follow me on there. That's where I'll announce it. Maybe I'll announce it on this channel after that. And as I always say at the end of every episode, keep healthy, stay humble, and appreciate the small things. I'll see you on the next one, guys. My name is Bendy, and this has been Discarte with Bendy.